um, because the combination of these two cards would suggest that you think that something is hidden from you and you're trying to get to the bottom of what might be hidden from you. Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for the weekend. Let's see what we've got for you. Capricorn, you will be on this side and your person will be on this side. Capricorn. We have the Queen of Swords for you. of coins for your person. High Priestess. Ace of Swords. Page of Wands. No, this way. Your person is stressed to the max. Stressed, 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 Capricorn. All right, two cards for you. So are you. Hmm, did something happen between you two, maybe? The Hanged Man, all right. And outcome, please. Death card. All right. Capricorn, I feel that whatever this is that you're having trouble overcoming, the two of you, together and separately, I do feel that you are going to put an end to that situation in order to move forward. Death card, for those of you that are new to tarot, does not mean a physical death. It means uh, an ending of either a situation or a thought process, a bad habit, old trauma, something of that nature. So Capricorn, you have the Queen of Swords and you have the High Priestess. Hmm. I will say, Capricorn, this does concern me a little bit as a reader um, because the combination of these two cards would suggest that you think that something is hidden from you and you're trying to get to the bottom of what might be hidden from you. Um, it's possible that this person that you're dealing with, Capricorn, may be very stressed out, may be dealing with a lot of things in their life. And as a result, they may not be showing you the attention or, um, well, Capricorn, you're not, a, you're not a sign that typically needs attention per se, but they may not be giving you the time that you would prefer. And so there's this, this concern that something is, is hidden from you. Something may be hidden. Your person is devoting a lot of time to something other than the connection, something other than the relationship. It appears to be associated with, uh, I don't know why I'm getting an invention. For some reason I'm getting the word invention. Maybe, maybe one of you, maybe one of you has a partner that literally has, has come up with some brilliant idea and they're trying to pursue some sort of movement with that. Some sort of communication has come in and caused them to have to either work a lot of extra hours or focus on something else. It could have been an idea, could have been um, an epiphany. I feel like something else is wanting to come out from that card. Let me take another card on this. I mean, the card is so basic, but I just feel like there's something else coming out of that card and I don't know what that is. So, let's see. Tell me about that two of pentacles, please. Planning a surprise, perhaps? I'm getting planning a surprise. Oh, look, 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 look. So, the interesting, the 
Ace of Pentacles was in my mind's eye. Here's the Ace of Cups and there's the Ace of Pentacles and the, the news of such things. Either news that, that there's a need to take some sort of action towards, towards a dream, towards a goal, towards a career, towards something that your person has always wanted. I'm still getting somebody's planning a surprise. Somebody's planning a surprise for someone. You may be seeing the number 333. May be important. All right, Capricorn, look at this. Four of Swords, Four of Coins. In this particular deck, both both cards represent a sense of stress and, and overwhelm and um, information and emotional overload. Just a, a general need to take some time away from the world to kind of decompress and release all the stress, release all these concerns. There, both of these cards also express, you know, the night time. So I feel like I feel like you've been losing some sleep, the two of you. Your person is focused on whatever this this particular idea, direction, opportunity is. They're focused on it, putting a lot of time and effort into that. There may be a need for this person to save some money. And you have extreme stress too. Stress by people's words. Maybe Capricorn, you're dealing with some coworkers who are um, confrontational, less than less than compromising, and there's been some words said between you and someone else. I don't see you taking any action. It's it's almost like Capricorn, you're aware that your person is is pursuing something and going after something, and you're giving them the space to do that. In the meantime, you're trying to gain a, another perspective on what this this relationship or this connection means to you. You may be trying to get another perspective on the long-term stability of the connection or um, even on what you can do to help your partner or what you, you need from this particular relationship. The hangman could be anything. It looks like with the page of wands, they're going to be taking some sort of action towards you, Capricorn. Rather rapidly. I, this is not an this is not a card of apologies, Capricorn, but I'm getting that somebody is going to be apologizing in a unique and creative way. And so for one of you, that's the case. Like I said, it's not a card of apologies, but that's what I'm getting some sort of movement towards you, Capricorn. Now, the overall outcome for you of this situation this weekend, and the outcome may not occur this weekend, it may be occurring next week. We have the death card. The two of you putting something to rest so that you can move forward together in love and in peace towards a new beginning. So I see the two of you are gonna be just fine, but right now there's a little bit of a disconnect. Um, this hangman could be you trying to figure out if some sort of secret is being held from you, if there's something that you're unaware of. But it looks like a new beginning is on the horizon, so it looks absolutely fantastic. All right, Capricorn, if you are interested in the extended reading, there will be a preview here in just a moment. If not, and this is where we part ways until your next video, as always, love and light to you, my dears, and I'll see you again soon. Hello Capricorn, we are going to take some additional spreads on this reading, but before we do that, let's take a look at a couple of cards. Let's look at this page of wands, the action they're going to take towards you. Let's see if we can find out some more information on this. The page of wands, All right. Ooh, reunion card, celebration. So if the two of you have not seen each other for a while, it looks like a reunion is on the horizon. A celebration of sorts, a get together. 
getting drinks, getting dinner. Oh, four of cups, a lot of fours here. So four of cups. Um, this person is feeling a little bit vulnerable about moving towards you. They have a lot of page energy. It's possible they may be younger than you, Capricorn. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.